What's up everyone? Vic here with my first video about No Man's Sky. I'm fairly new to No Man's Sky as I just picked it up on Xbox Game Pass and ever since I've been having a lot of fun with it. In this video, I'll take you through the brand new derelict fighter missions with the brand new update. I will also give you some helpful tips to help you survive in this challenging environment. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. A little quick thumbs up, really, really appreciate it. So let's go. You'll need at least 5 million credits to get started. And I also will be making a video about how to get money in this game. There's a very, very simple strategy that will help you immensely. So when you first land on a derelict, in this case, it's freezing out there. It's minus 41 degrees. And the challenge I kept having in the beginning was figuring out, okay, where do I go? What do I do? It was really kind of haunting and scary. Uh, going into the door controls, now let me pause here right now. That's a teleporter, but it's deactivated. Later on, you'll actually be able to go deeper into the derelict and teleport back up. But as you can see, extreme weather conditions are here. It's really quite beautiful. This expansion is so awesome. It reminds me of like movies, sci-fi movies like Alien. Uh, there's all these mystery and the environment is it's freezing it's cold there's this unknown factor as you can see my visor has fogged up now one of the things you want to first look for if you're on a freezing area as you can see here are some some creatures i can shoot and uh this right here is a ship that i can scavenge But as you can see, it's kind of haunting. You've got a flashlight, you're freezing. Uh, I'm just about to run out of life support and run out of hazard protection. So you, you, you wanna make sure before you step into these derelicts that you have a full stock of all the things you need to recharge your life support systems because you can die really, really quickly in here. Now I, now I discovered that there are heaters, okay? There are, here I've gone to three zones, but this is a heating unit. And I wish I'd figured this out sooner. So this is why I made this video is because as soon as you come in, you want to turn these heaters on and turn on all the heaters and you'll see how you don't have to waste your resources. All you need to do is run from heater to heater. And as you go from heater to heater, you can replenish your supply of your resources and get warmed up so we're going to turn the sound on a little bit because it's a little quieter inside of here so you can sort of really get to experience the sensation of what it feels like to be inside this great environment so i highly recommend you use the visor a lot and start to loot all these scavenging crates that are throughout this area. Be careful not to shoot some of the things because they explode and they cause damage, like the unstable canisters. Those things are really gnarly. If you hit them, uh, it will really just wipe out your shields in no time. So now I'm going back to the room and I'm trying to figure out where do I go from here? Because this is only room number three. I thought, okay, so do I climb through? over here and as you can see you know that's actually leaving the ship and then aha here we go i spot the ladder but i have to make a decision really quickly whether i'm going to be going down deeper into this derelict and risk my extreme freezing conditions how long will it be until i get to another heater it's really quite harrowing and here we turn on the visor and I immediately start looking for a heating unit. And I notice that they're not here in this first area. We also want to pick up all of these log snippets that are sitting around. Now notice there's something shooting at me. 
Uh, they look a lot like Sentinels, uh, but they're actually drones that are flying around and they're shooting at you. And when you, that gives you security credentials, you need these security credentials to unlock the terminals that you'll find later inside the derelict. Now, every derelict is unique. None of the derelicts are the same. Now, right over here, this is the teleporter. Remember I told you, remember that teleporter at the beginning of the, the video? Well, that teleporter is activated over here. So what you have to do is find one of these terminals and then reactivate them. And then that will enable you to reactivate the teleporters. And you can teleport between all the teleporters and the derelict. So notice I, I'm always looking for heating units. Pick up the heating units because they're really, really important for you to catch. Now this over here, these are alien specimens. As you're playing the game, you're uncovering what happened to the crew. How did they die? What happened to them? And it's completely randomly generated. So every time you do a different derelict, you'll have a completely different story. It's pretty amazing. Now I also recommend you pick up the missions at the base because you get a ton, a ton of kill credits for just shooting down these robots, okay? It counts as a creature. Doesn't quite count as a sentinel, but they do count as creatures. So instead of shooting those harmless animals on planets, you can just run derelicts and get extra nanites that way. Nanites in the later part of the game, once you've beaten the basic story, nanites are really what you need to focus on because money, as I'm gonna show you in another future video, it's really easy to make and you need nanites in order to start expanding what you do in the game in the later story. So I'm gonna go back down and around the staircase again and I'm trying to find all these locations where all of the places are hanging out. So remember to look at all of the little log files scattered throughout the base. So we're going to go downstairs again. Automated security drone box. Whenever you enter a new room, go deeper into the base. It's really quite exciting because you're freezing, drones are attacking you, and you've got to quickly get over to a heater. Now here in this heater, you also have to be careful, you can't go around these chairs and your jumpsuit does not work inside of here. So you actually need to kill everybody. Like this drone, you gotta get rid of that drone and then head on over to the heating room. You see, I'm already starting to take damage on my, on my suit. My shields are down. Turn on the heating unit. Now here's another tip. Stick around the heating unit for a while. Once your hazard protection recharges, it takes about 30 seconds or so for your shields to start to recharge. Actually, it's like 15 seconds. So now you see your shields will start to recharge and then you go back to full health because you never know what's gonna happen. Now these capsules, you wanna loot them too. What I find is you constantly are going back and forth between your visor. Like this is the teleport terminal. This is my goal. This is what I wanna do so I can quickly go back and forth to the beginning of the derelict and to the end of the derelict. So this right here is the engineering control center. Remember I picked up that access code card. Okay. Generator failure detector. So I want to fabricate a technology upgrade. You could also extract nanites. Uh, this is basically a reward. And then basically gives you 
something you can add to your freighter upgrades. Okay, and I, I load it up again just to make sure there's nothing else there. Now I need to activate this teleporter. So I'm first going to go over to the heating unit. This is such a cool expansion to an already extremely cool game. It adds that depth. I, I really am looking forward to trying this out in multiplayer to see if I can maybe bring some friends into a derelict with me. If you'd like to do that and you have an Xbox gamer tag, I put my gamer tag in the notes below this if you want to add me as a friend. Love to check, check this out with you if you're playing this game. So I'm just going to do some more scavenging. You can really spend a long time inside these derelicts just to make sure that you get every single loot box, every single scavenging opportunity that's there. And you see how I've now gone to all the eight zones. I've recovered the captain's log and I've recovered the engineering unit. So there's three objectives, the crew manifest. I was not able to do because that was at the very beginning and I was missing the raw materials to unlock that. So you wanna make sure that you have your basic raw materials in before you enter these der derelicts. Like you don't wanna have a full inventory because you're gonna pick up a lot of loot, but you gotta have the basic things to fix, basic metals, Uranium, sodium, whatever you need, you'll discover it as you start to play along. So here I am, uh, I believe my teleporter is now active, so I should be able to walk right into it. Yeah, see that? It teleported me right back to the beginning where we started this mission. So cool, so extremely cool. Now that's actually the terminal where the crew manifest was. Uh, that was before I started recording, before I really knew what I was doing. So at this point, I'm just gonna get back into my starship. You don't have to complete all the objectives. You just need the captain's log. The captain's log is what you can sell back at the starbase for a lot of money. So now you get a new mission called Lost in Space. I love that. And so you find a buyer to sell. They're back at the base. So um, I'm gonna go back over to the base. One of the coolest things in No Man's Sky is just jumping into black holes, space stations. So I'm gonna be traveling over to the base. I'm gonna find a buyer for my captain's log. love the landing sequences in this game. Everything about it, in 4K, it's just absolutely gorgeous on the Xbox One X. Whoa, 70 million credits. Wow. Stay tuned for my next video where I'll show you exactly how you can sell and make money like 70 million at a time. So I'll see you in the next video.